do today is show you how to effectively fish the margins and this is how I go about it. We're going to use a peg number one monster margin mix and first of all tear the bag open, pour the entire contents into the bucket. You can see it's quite a coarse mix, loads of particles in there and all we're going to do is quite simply add some lake water. I add this a small amount at a time just mix it up by hand, just pour some in. You don't want to over wet this too much to start with, just a little and often, just build it up. Add a bit more water. Okay, I'm going to add the last bit of water. This is going to make it feel like it's over wetted. Like I said, if you leave it for 10, 20 minutes, that'll absorb the water and it'll become quite dry again. So put that in. There we go, we've got a nice heavy mix that's going to go straight to the bottom. I'm now going to add some flavouring. Today I'm going to use a peg number one, Mayhem Spicy Krill Pellet Soak. Now the good thing about this is you can't overdo it. All right, I normally put three or four capfuls in, which I'm going to do now. That's just going to give it an extra boost, and it's also just going to make the mix a bit more stickier, help it bind up. Right, we've got the final mix here exactly how I like it. You can easily mould that into a ball now. You can either throw that in by hand, or as I prefer to do, put it into a pole cup and pot it in. For fishing down the margin and fishing down the edges, these are the baits I'm going to use today, and these are baits I'd always bring with me to, to any given venue. We've got two different types of corn. We've got eight mil pellets. Now the reason I use eight mil pellets is because a lot of bait that goes in here will be that. If people are fishing a pellet waggler, a straight lead, they're going to be firing eight mil pellets over the top. The fish associate that with a, a food source and they're going to come into the margins later on in the day and they're going to be looking for those. The corn is a fantastic bait. Again, on any given day it will work and it will outperform either the meat or the pellets. And again, the meat. I'll always bring some meat with me. Uh, you know, if the other two baits aren't working, then I'll try that. We don't know at this stage, we're going to use the margin mix, we're going to put it in, and we're going to find out which one works best. But I'll always bring these four baits with me to any venue at this time of year. The rig I'm using down the edge today is an 014 float, short stem, margin float, two mil bristle, and it's on an 018 straight through to an 018 uh, hook length and we've got a, a size 14 hook. The bait I'm using is the, the almond, pink almond corn, and literally just put one piece on. Okay, well we've just gone in down the margin, we've just fed the, uh, the margin mix, and I've just gone over it with a pole pot of the almond corn, and it's buried straight away. So the fish are now starting to move in in the middle of the lake. They're just starting to come in the edges now. Taking it nice and steady. Lots of snags around here. Feels like a good fish. Yep, it is. Nice mirror carp. There we go. Getting the net. There's the first one of the day. And that just goes to show how simple and effective this method is.